hello and welcome back to my youtube channel today i want to show you how to do makeup on brown skin so we'll start by preparing the face which has been already moisturized and uh, prepped so now we'll start off with uh, the eyebrows we'll use a spoolie to brush the eyebrow hairs upwards the reason why i added a bit of powder on the eyebrows is because I'm avoiding the uh, excess excretion of oil. I do that when the skin is a bit oily. So I'm, I'm marking where the eyebrow outline will be. And I'm using the pencil, pencil number three from the David's uh, brand. So I outline the parameters of my eyebrows, the bottom as well as the top. As per usual and then I go on and fill in any spaces that are in between those parameters using short strokes and a light a light hand and when it comes to the front part I use line like strokes that move in an upward direction this is to avoid making the front part very dark but you'll see that i then go ahead and blend that using the spoolie wherein i'm blending the pencil product with the eyebrow hair and then i outline i clean the parameters using concealer and i'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color in the color fawn. To clean the eyebrows, I'm using a flat concealer brush. This concealer brush, it being flat, helps in ensuring that the lines that I draw are precise. So the tip of the brush improves on the precision. So it's very important to mind the tools that you use because they determine the quality of the work so in this step i am outlining the front part of the eyebrows so i hope you're noting that i start with the with the tail part of the eyebrows i think tail is the right word but i started at the end of the eyebrow and then i work towards the the front part the reason why i do that is that i when i work from the end i i work easier because the tail makes it easy for me to create that curve that gives me a nicer arch i hope i'm making sense and for the top part i use a uh, foundation this will help with the blending of the foundation because in the previous uh, tutorials or in the previous um, makeup sessions I've had, I used to use concealer at the top and this would make it very difficult for me to have a seamless blend. So I then decided to follow some of these YouTube uh, recommendations we're in. It is recommended that I use foundation and I've really seen the difference. You should try it out and comment below what are your reviews on uh, your attempt. So now I'm blending the top part, the forehead. The excess product. Uh -oh. Excuse me, the excess product I blend to the forehead. I hope you can see that this is blending seamlessly because the foundation matches her skin tone. And I'm using a foundation brush from Real Techniques. So I use tapping, tapping motions. All right. 
everything blended eyebrows done so now i set the eyebrows using powder i use powder from yardley and then i use a fluffy brush to set so now we are working on the eye makeup so i take a transition color which is usually bent orange for me or light brown i'm applying that on the lead and then now i'm applying a crease color to apply the crease color because she does not have a crease i will not follow any crease line because she she doesn't have a crease instead what i do is that i apply majority of the color on the outer v and then i move upwards i i move in a diagonal line towards the eyebrows where in on a normal day i should have been moving in a curve because a crease line is usually a curve but when there is no crease line i move diagonally towards the eyebrows and then now i am blending the edges using the transition color <laughs> don't be worried about the way i'm holding that brush it's because the brush is quite big so i was trying to pinch it and make it smaller so please donate for me to get smaller brushes <laughs> all right so to give that some depth i added a deeper brown on the outer V and then I took the transition brush which has the bent orangish color to blend and then now I took a shimmery color to fill in the lead space so to give a sheer effect of the shimmery shade I just apply it with a flat brush However, if you want it to become more shimmery, you should apply a bit of concealer, blend it, and then apply the shimmer on top of it. That will increase the depth of the shimmery color. So what I was doing there was drawing the, the eye line, the li liquid liner, using liquid liner to outline the parameters of her lashes so that when i insert artificial lashes there is no no gap in case there is a gap it will be concealed in that way so now i'm applying the lashes when i apply the lashes i start sticking them from the center and then I adjust them. So what I was doing here is that I use the lash applicator as well as my hands, depending what is convenient, to adjust them such that they are closer to the eyelash line. So that is what I'm doing here is adjusting those lashes. And she wanted a natural look, hence we used short, 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 uh, eyelashes so that they look natural and look at that these look very natural and then now I'm applying foundation all over the face applying foundation and tapping motions all over the face and please note that when I apply foundation I don't apply a large, uh, a large amount of it under the eye area because that area creases easily so it has to have less product so in all my applications i always avoid putting foundation underneath the eye so now i'm applying concealer the same concealer that i used to clean the eyebrows is the one that i'm applying now underneath the eye to give it some brightness So I also apply a bit on the forehead and on the chin as well as the bridge of the nose. And then I use a blending sponge to 
blend I hope you can see the trans the, the transformation that comes with the highlighting highlighting is my favorite lately because once you highlight it just changes everything this really looks nice if I do say so myself <laughs> oh my god so we blend and then now we set all the areas we we applied concealer we are going to set those areas with just a small amount of setting powder and then now we'll apply blush because she wanted the look to be very very soft this blush will also serve as a guideline for contouring so when i want to soften the look i normally start off by applying blush and then the blush determines how much contouring is required if any sometimes i don't even contour and then we outline the parameters of her lips using the pencil that we used on our eyebrows which is david's number three so we're applying the pencil liner And then apply matte lipstick from Essence. Essence really has nice matte lipsticks. You should go and try them out. And then you come back and give reviews on what are your thoughts. I really love their colors. And then I take a brush to blend the lip line with the lipstick. And then now I'm highlighting. And then I'm also highlighting her socket bone. And I'm using Wet n Wild highlighter. I think it's called Mega Mega Glow. I really like that highlighter. I'm using it to also highlight the inner corners of her eye. And then now I set the face. To set the face, I'm using the Maybelline Setting Spray. And then I'm going all over. And the reason why I hide the eye area is that the eye area has a tendency of smudging when you set it. So it's either you cover it or you set before you apply your liquid liner and mascara. And then I'm contouring the nose just to give it some definition using a small fluffy brush and I'm also blending her eyebrows and then we're done and she was so happy thank you so much for watching bye